Now time to bring you sports here on News Prime. And yesterday we um, saw the World Football Governing Body FIFA impose a lifetime ban on the president of the Ghana Football Association, Kwesi Nyantichi, and fining him almost half a million US dollars. There's been a response from Mr. Nyantichi, and he's heading to the Court of Arbitration for Sports to appeal um, that ban by the World Football governing body and um, he issued um, a press statement earlier today and um, there it is on your screen so he says um, I wish to express my shock and deep sadness after receiving the decision from the FIFA ethics adjudicatory committee on Tuesday my legal advisors are under my instructions to urgently appeal the decision as I think it was unfair harsh and unwarranted he goes on to say, I will use all the legal channels available to seek redress and establish the facts I presented to the committee. Even though I have already resigned from all my football positions, it is important I establish the facts with the sole aim of clearing my name. He also added, at this moment, I am unable to provide any further details as my lawyers are reviewing the facts for appeal at the Court of Arbitration for Sport. And concluded, I wish to express my sincere gratitude to the people of Ghana, Africa, and indeed across the globe for the overwhelming support and outpouring of sympathy. And um, thank you, signed by Mr. Kwesi Nyantechi. Let's get into boxing and Ghana's IBF lightweight war. Chikomi is thanking his stars after champion Mikey Garcia vacated the title to opt for a move out to the welterweight division. Komi, who's been in the U.S. for months, has been preparing with fingers crossed and is now um, heaving a sigh of relief. And um, so what are the dynamics? Joy Sports Boxing Chief Nathaniel Lato has more. So Ghana's Richard Kome is heaving a big sigh of relief in the United States of America after the confirmation that Mikey Garcia had vacated the IBF lightweight title. Garcia has now opted to move up in weight and not wanting to go ahead with defending the WBC and IBF lightweight belts. Now at 135, Richard Kome gets the opportunity and a final one at that to go for a lifelong dream in his boxing career. Komi comes up against Russian-born Isa Chaniev, who has a record of 13 wins and one loss. Komi obviously goes in as the more experienced boxer with his 27 wins and two losses. In his 30th career fight, Komi would definitely have to get it right. Speaking to Joy Sports earlier, after the confirmation yesterday, Komi expressed great excitement and says he's been preparing very greatly for this very big challenge. A final date is yet to be determined, but it is very certain that a bout will be staged in the United States of America, which comes as welcome news for Kome, who sees it as a neutral ground where there will be no skirmishes like was the case in previous fights, especially that against Denis Shavikov. Our Deputy Minister of Youth and Sports, Honorable Perry Okujetu, has revealed government's intention to build a 60,000-seater capacity Olympic stadium either in Prom Prom or Dodoa to host the 2023 All-Africa Games. Ghana was granted a hosting right for the 13th edition of the All-Africa Games after successfully bidding and is expected to provide avenues for the multiple disciplines ahead of the championship. It's an opportunity to put Ghana on the map open Ghana up to the rest of the continent and to the rest of the world, package Ghana as one of the destinations in Africa that is open to the world, that is open for tourism, that is open um, for business. A roadmap moving forward. We're going to set up a secretariat that is going to be in charge of the African Games. And then we've already drawn up the projects that we want to do to enhance the facilities that we have. In all the cities that we're going to host the games, we have universities in these cities and therefore accommodation issues in terms of where we're going to uh, host the teams, the universities are going to provide accommodation for us in these cities. In fact, as we speak, uh, the NYA, an agency under the Ministry of Youth and Sports, is constructing 10 
regional sports uh, and youth excellence centers. And these are facilities that include sporting uh, facilities. We have plans to build a 60,000 Olympic sized stadium towards the 2023 uh, African Games. So where are you getting the money to be able to do The government of Ghana is paying for it. Where are you getting the money from? We're going to raise the money. How? Because we've budgeted for it. And once you budget for something, you, you pay out of your, your yearly budget or you raise the funding from outside through loans and through grants and the rest of it. All right, that's it for sports. My name is Hans Mensah Ando.